Okay, today I decided to do a little bit more with the Elastolite, the sample that I received a while ago. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is uh, the material that was used to make the movie Tron Legacy. And uh, it has three modes. It's very flexible, see, very flexible. And uh, I've done this a few times. There are a couple of um, uh, leads that go in here, and I'm not deliberately not pressing hard on them. But um, I'll check with the manufacturer to see if, you know, like how much, how comfortable I should feel about crushing this. But right now, look at that. That's pretty good. And uh, there are uh, other types of electroluminescent things that you can use uh, for your sobels. But um, this is definitely um, a nice option and uh, very flexible. What I'm trying to do is look and see how it looks um, with backlighting. I'm trying to... Um, decide what to do with it and I will um, put various fabrics over it just to see what that looks like and I don't have a lot because I'm just looking for my fabric bin but for instance here's one so this is just um, I forget what you call this what do you call this but um, it's this uh, fabric where you have little um, bits of embroidery sewn in already and so you can see some of the pattern behind it where the light um, isn't coming through. So that's kind of nice. I would want a bigger pattern. Um, but here we have, this is a penguin that I that I did a while ago. And I think that this is a very good possibility. So the penguin is screened, um, well not quite screened, stenciled onto the fabric in black ink. I used the speedball ink for this. And um, there we go. So it's not as opaque as I would want it, um, but it is. The light is definitely coming through. Not sure I would want to use that. Um, random. Here is an old skirt that I cut up. I thought I would use this fabric somewhere. Um, and I'm not seeing if we put the black over it. Um, not really what I would want. Not enough um, opacity. Here is a stamped piece of fabric that I did. And that's. Hang on, let me stand up. It's not very exciting. Here is a quilt piece that I found somewhere and this quilt piece again is a little bit big for it but really what we want I guess is the layered fabric approach because that's when you really um, see the light being screened out still coming through quite a bit but I think that's what we want to do I wanted to also show the new penguins that I got hang on now these were done by Caprice Rothi and uh, Right, so see how bright the light is? It's coming through quite a bit, but it's shielded sufficiently by the paper, and it's quite beautiful. So um, that's a definite possibility. Now I'm looking to do wearables, and this is cardstock, so obviously um, I have to make some adjustments. One of the things I want to consider doing is to embroider. I guess I would be embroidering the part that's cut out, which would be turned into black and then the light would come in around it. So, because this again is a blue light, which would be what we would use for the color white. Anyway, that's it for now.